Well, hello, this is JC from Real and Simulated Wars. I'm gonna try streaming today this mission for DCS Black Shark. I'm gonna wait just a few seconds to set up my system and uh, walk you through the uh, sort of briefing. This is a custom made solo mission a single black shark helicopter flying against uh, Georgian forces. Well, everything set up here. I hope that you can hear me okay. Let me uh, show you the briefing for this mission. So this is what we have for uh, today. So we're going to be playing the Russians. I know this is a bit uh, confusing if you will, because I'm using NATO symbols, not the typical Russian ones, but they use the software to generate these uh, maneuver graphs for uh, this mission today. I, for some strange reason, I had to open it in paint, but it's not that, that I use it paint for this. So basically, uh, we're the Russian forces are attacking from Skimbali, which is all over way over there in the north. You see the symbol for a FARP. The FARP is named Oktrika. This is where we have a single Black Shark helicopter, which I'm going to be piloting. It's gonna, uh, you know, be the FARP for start and end of the mission. We have a, a Russian tactical battalion which is being assembled uh, in Skimbali and um, Company A over there which is a mix of actually a mix of armor and IFBs is going to be attacking south. You see the boundaries of these uh, company sized a preemptive attack if you will so the maneuver graphics show how they're going to be moving to the first objective which is uh, Tarkun and uh, well this company is actually composed of uh, uh, T-72 tanks and uh, BTR 80s um, you have a small component of the infantry. It's a pity that DCS doesn't allow the modeling of dismounted infantry. I mean, you have to do it by hand, but um, I didn't feel that I have the skills to, to generate that type of thing. Take a note that, uh, well, you know, this is something that I <laughs> always makes my day, that, you know, we tend to fly in, in DCS all our... Uh, DCAs, uh, DCS fellows mm -hmm. tend to fly these missions as a single, uh, as a you know fixed wing type of mission where everything is debriefed. But I do believe that either 
you know, if you're flying the um, the black shark, two or three doesn't matter, the hind or even uh, the Apache, you have to be a bit m more cognizant of what land missions are about. And in this one, we do have kind of a support mission for Company A. That's what you see of our uh, rotary wing helicopter is going to be uh, going down and flying along with the uh, with the company and from the line of departure is supposed to find a position which is very generic is don't, don't take that uh, that position for the uh, attack by fire mission as literal as it appears to be but rather just a suggestion or a general orientation um, and the first objective I named it uh, Tarkhun for the <laughs> the popular Russian soda and uh, apparently we have some Georgian forces some tanks and some infantry over there probably these mounts uh, from the from some IFBs that may be remaining over there we have a these you know ever present patrols which are no bigger than a section or a, uh, a fire team so not too much to worry and in the future our uh, company A probably reinforced by some elements of the of the of the tactical battalion will be moving using uh, into objective Burjomi and uh, there is a bridge over there that is crucial to secure and as you see the presence of uh, of enemy armor it is I increasing as you increase in depth which is kind of worrying but um, nonetheless uh, this is what we are trying uh, to achieve for this limited mission we're not expecting to fly for more than one hour one hour ten minutes or so and uh, well the <laughs> the general intent or the storyline that I'm trying to follow with this it is the Russians attacking via Corelli which is on the west over there you know uh, across the hills uh, near Ruizi which is uh, near objective Borjomi and then move all the way to Gori this is something that we have done before just from the other side from the uh, the side of the of the uh, of the Georgians with an AH-64 if you remember my counter reconnaissance mission it is uh, basically based on, on, on that storyline. So we change the perspective now. We're, you know, going to uh, be um, facing this mission from the side of the Russians right now. And let's go and see how, how it is uh, going to go right now. So let's jump into the helicopter and uh, have it right there. We are in, in the FARP right now. We have it in pause so not to consume too much uh, fuel. I'm going to activate the controls indicators so our trimming is, is is better right now the helicopter is set up for a night mission maybe because of the time early morning here and uh, I'm gonna be increasing the intensity of the HUD and uh, prepping the helicopter all the way up you can see that we have a new addition this detection system which is really very handy and a game changer for the black shark because now you have a warning of when things are coming which is uh, something very 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 good 
So uh, let's, um, I usually Mr. Forgetful when it comes to checklists and I don't have one for this. So what I'm gonna do, even at the expense of the safety of the personnel here in this FARP, uh, oh my God, look at those textures in this single helipad, they, they look awful. But anyway, let's not digress. I'm going to be uh, taking out the, the lightning the lights off I'm gonna kill the lights um, for for this mission okay so bear with me we have disabled over there cheap blade lights this beacon in the belly and um, let's kill the navigation lights and there is an additional one over here, which is uh, deployed right now, the landing lights. I'm gonna kill them too. And uh, well, I couldn't go as bold as to, you know, kind of fence in right now because it feels unsafe. But anyway, let's uh, take off. So I'm gonna... <sighs> put some collective into this the ecran is asking us for a navigation position system that's another story I'm not gonna go for INS uh, fixing uh, at this mission I'm putting up the landing gear and uh, I'm not doing that because apparently it's not working that that well. So um, there's going to be some drifting when we uh, use the root navigation mode in our way back. But um, that's pretty much what it's going to be. So let's start the weapon systems. Turn on the laser. Master arm. I'm gonna be using my missiles the the vickers in the manual uh, mode Single shot and the cannon is gonna be in the low uh, cadence of fire and I think that we're all set right now. Oh, let me Just scale up the map a little bit so we have a better view there we go so let's go to the line of departure so this is not going to be a mission where we're going to be racing because tanks uh, are supposed to be the you know the weapon of choice for lightning offensives and whatnot but they're actually slow, you know, they have to traverse open terrain. So what I'm doing right now, I'm going towards uh, waypoint number one, the TAA, the tactical assembly area. So the tanks are moving around over there. And then we're going to go to number two, which is the line of departure. You see that dust over there it is the tanks that's an air defense system what you're seeing on the left and the tanks are moving in a column formation pretty awesome to watch this Oh, these are BTRs. Pretty dusty, if you ask me. So I'm gonna move into the line of departure pretty fast. 
and uh, I'm gonna take a stationary position over there and um, waiting for the tanks to move up to the LD for the attack on the objective so I'm gonna put it around here we have a lot of forward speed so that bridge is easily recognizable from a, a briefing map that um, I didn't show you but it is you know kind of a landmark this is another thing that you will notice and you have been accustomed to if you fly if you flew the black shark before it is that um, make one eyeball is a very useful tool eh? so we're going to put it into a hover here so we can arrange for the tanks to move into the LD which is by the way very near to here let's watch the map yeah it is actually a bit to the left I have it as a waypoint but line of departure of course is a is a line so let's put the the shark right here let's try to sit into a hover so I can command those tanks Want to engage the auto hover let's see how stable is this we are 14 meters it doesn't feel like we're 14 meters let's see the external view for this yeah it doesn't feel like we are there yet but anyway so we are stable let's go to f10 and uh, let's move these precious tanks into the line of departure which is pretty near to us this is a bridge so i'm gonna put them first over there this is one platoon let's put this one over here second platoon and let's also bring the BTRs as you know the BTRs are just providing nothing other than that uh, beautiful cannon that they have I have used it in steel beasts and it is kind of awesome but um, there is no infantry associated with them unless you script it and you know it's not something that I am it's above my pay grade if you will so I am just going to leave it over there it's gonna take a while for these tanks to to arrive here I just want to be here when they do and then let's take a look at the map you see the objective is pretty close here it is around maybe a couple three kilometers to the south I'm talking about um, target number one TRG one or waypoint number three tar for Tarkoon so we are pretty close to where we're supposed to be and uh, well now it's just waiting for those tanks 
So, of course, since I am commanding the tanks, I'm using the combine, Combined Arms DLC, which, uh, which is kind of good, but, you know, <laughs> Armor Warfare here in DCS is a kind of an afterthought. I mean, land operations are very kind of conceptual and, you know, they're not simulation grade. But at least you can command and bring troops to the front. It's not that bad. So, another thing that I wanted to point out is, well, we shouldn't be hovering here. This is putting a lot of strain in our uh, in our engines. Should probably be having like a circuit or something like that. But we are so close to the enemy right now, and we don't know how the air defenses are going to be. So we just need to keep it over here, and I am not brave enough to have this, um, like this, uh, you know, loops and circuits. I'm, I just cannot stomach them. We have uh, no markers for the armor, so we're not, uh, we're not very synchronized with them. And, uh, wow, they're taking quite a long time. Maybe we should check the F-10. They're coming. Probably what we can do it is to increase their speed. From... 20 to 30 miles per hour. Oh, there they come. Oh, great, 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 great. What is that? Those are tanks. Tanks. Well, thank you very much for showing up. And in terms of um, our maneuver graphics, we are right there near the line of departure. So I believe that uh, we are going to do a recon of, uh, in force. I want to peek what is up with that objective. Let's. I want to have a, a good idea too on how is the terrain if there is any hills where one could uh, take some cover. Jesus Christ, these are like speed cars. Wow. Anyway, all right. Let's see what's up with this objective. Maybe I should use this line of approach. Need to be lower. Oh, there is a very nice hill over there. I'm gonna use it. I'm gonna engage a hover. 
don't get too close to the um, to the enemy position there we go Just engage the auto hover, and I'm gonna turn on this Kival and uh, the head mounted acquiring system. So let's take a peek. The objective has to be. just above that hill so I'm, you know I do have auto hover and altitude hold so it's, it's kind of uh, any variation in altitude is quite slow Oop, there we go I can see some buildings down there but you know i am higher than the shkval per se so one has to be careful what do we have there ah look at that i see Oh, uh, that's a BTR or a BRDM. I cannot see the wheels, so that one is cannot hurt us. We're going to kill it, but um, let's close the gate a little bit. But not for now. What I'm seeing here? Oh, nice. Okay, I'm gonna put my laser over there, but I'm gonna need some more altitude. Yep, missiles. All right, I like that. Good. So are there more tanks over here? Crap. There is a lot of trees over there that don't allow me to see. Dang it. Okay, so let's kill that BTR. Oh, there is some infantry too. I'm gonna leave the infantry um, for so the, the tanks can have some fun. Let's reorient, but since I have it in manual, the Vikers can fire almost from anywhere. Oh, look at that secondary. <laughs> this explosion, the explosion of the uh, IFB has killed some of the infantry surrounding but anyway I'm not too worried about that infantry because as you know we are four kilometers from the objective let's be some range yeah 
That's pretty much it. So, okay. So, the briefing said one platoon, roughly, of armor. So, we are missing one additional piece of armor. And uh, I am scanning as much as I can. But no avail. So this is what I will do. I will, since my missing target should be, I suppose, around there. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take like a little detour and... Uh, just move around. On the meantime, now I believe it's a good... Let's go down first. Let's take some cover. We're too sta static. That's it. That will do. So... Let's bring the armor up. This seems to be a good position. I just want to make sure that they sort that uh, that bridge cor correctly. And I'm going to leave these guys over there. So, right now, I cannot see any further movement in the objective area. So, we'll have to take a shot or reposition ourselves a little bit. So, let's do it. I'm going to move it back and change my approach. Is the armor coming? Jesus Christ, it shouldn't be doing this, but... Uh, I'm going to check on my armor. Oh, there they go. Six tanks. Oh, there is some some issues with them with the second platoon. But anyway, sorted out, guys. Want to just move elsewhere. Have to be a bit lower. Let's see what 
we can acquire from here I don't know where my target point was oh there it is these kind of rolling hills are really awesome so yeah let's use that Okay, so let's see what we get. popping up oh there it is the son of a gun well he obviously saw us so uh, is there any other good place to go maybe down there reposition Every time this happens, I, I, I really question myself, should I just man it up and, you know, handle it from where I was popping up? But, uh, you know, it's just not cushier to pop up from the same position. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to get some distance and be a good pilot yeah probably here I don't know anymore so we have to turn our backs to the enemy for a little while reposition and re-engage to hover Ay, ay, ay. I'm creeping up too much. Ok, 
cannot see this guy still. Okay. So I'm gonna have to... Reposition again. As you see, this is a game of patience. Fuel is still okay. It's a nice round hill over there. Too high. such a good position to be hovering to be honest let's pop up again Oh, this is even worse. Jesus Christ. I have to find the break in this vegetation. Goodness gracious. Okay, so this is what I want to do. Should probably have done this way slower. And with a clearer line of sight. Okay, let's hover right here. And if this doesn't work, I will have no. Oh. 
This is not nice. This is not nice. Just too high. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh! Ow! Fuck! Jesus Christ, I have been killed. And, uh, of course, it puts an end on this mission. Jesus Christ. I kind of panicked when this uh, tank acquired me. I was... I don't know, I was getting too close. I lost my... my conduct over there. Okay, so... Just for consistency, there is no other way... than... to attack. So I'm gonna be moving these tanks forward. What did I do? Just stop. the hell there we go so let's see what these fellows do fine Well, myself, I'm dead. Let's accelerate, because this is beyond the scope of the video. There we go. Nice. These guys are oblivious. They didn't see the enemy tank. There is an additional type of crest or hill in the front. That's why. So let's accelerate. Because when they sort or clear that hill, is where these things are going to happen. I'm not going to wait for the other tanks. So let's get a bird's eye view.
that's the objective beautiful map Did they destroy the enemy armor and I miss that? There should be a big billow of smoke. Huh. Oh my god, this is a... Uh, the micro-terrain is so bad. Now it is. Of course these tanks cannot do hull down or turret down or anything like that. There we go. Oh yeah, there we go. It was a freaking single tank. And if you take a look It was ready in the middle. Of the forest. Wow. It was kind of concealed. That's why I couldn't see it. Anyway, what a shame to die in this way. And <laughs> well, I'm sorry I died. <laughs> and uh, it was uh, kind of a bad maneuvering. Panic it really very bad when the enemy was acquiring me. These tanks, I believe the enemy has T-72s there capable of firing a muzzle loaded missile which is guided by laser so it's kind of a you know an emergency situation when you get acquired but um there is time to react and you can move out of harm's way and i don't know how realistic the guidance system is model but um, in any case, you know, deserves attention. It is a very narrow field of view, if I remember correctly, from other more realistic armor simulators like Steel Beasts. But uh, what do I know? So anyway, the objective is taken. And uh, let's see if I can save this and do another round or recreate it for a new try okay so thank you very much for watching and i will see you around